Hi everyone, so uh, today we just announced the LiveBlocks starter kit. Uh, with the starter kit, you can kickstart your Next.js uh, collaborative application very, very quickly. So uh, here's how it works. Uh, you just need to go to your landing page and you get the installer command that you can use. Uh, then you can just open the terminal and paste it. So what this does, it will essentially um, take you through different steps to install the starter kit based on settings you want. So uh, how would you like to name your project? So I'm going to call it LiveBlocks uh, SaaS product, SaaS collaborative product even. Hit return. Uh, then here I can pick what kind of authentication I want to put in my application. So uh, you can set, you can pick demo, GitHub, or O0. Behind the scenes, this is powered by Next Auth, uh, meaning that you, you can go back to this and, and make it work the way you want with whatever provider you want. Uh, but for this, the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to pick demo. And what's nice about, the, about this here is you can directly deploy to Vercel, uh, meaning that if I yes, uh, then I want to install with NPM. And then it's asking me if I want to open my browser window to continue. So I'm going to pick yes, and that's opening up Vercel. Uh, so now here um, I can select what Git repository I want to add this to. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Going to hit create. And now uh, I'm prompted to add a live blocks integration. So I'm just going to click add. And now that's uh, opening up the live blocks integration. Uh, and here I can pick whatever product I want. So in that case, I'm just going to pick um, SaaS product. And I, I can pick between development and production, but I'm going to stick with development and hit create project. So now the project has been created. It's ready to import. And I just literally hit import API key. And behind the scenes, it's going to grab the API keys from LiveBlocks. Put them into put them into your environment variables inside of your um, Vercel uh, project, uh, so you don't have to do all that stuff. It's very easy. So now Vercel is deploying. So it's going to take about a minute, and I'm going to speed this up. And there you go. Now I've got my app installed, and it's all deployed. It's all it's all ready to go. So. Now I can go to uh, click on the link here, and uh, here what you see is the basically like what will correspond to your marketing site. Uh, here we just have a home page that you can customize as much as you want, and a sign in button here. So when I click sign in, it's uh, opening the the sign in form. Uh, again, we kept it pretty basic here because the point is not to provide everything, but l l let you kind of customize that experience to your needs. So I'm gonna log in as Charlie. And now I'm in the product, right? Um, so here I've got my documents. None have been created yet because this is a new project. Uh, but what I can do is, you know, create create a new draft. Uh, it's going to be a whiteboard. That's all we have for now. Um, and now I can add a note. So again, pretty basic stuff here in terms of like the the experience of the ed the collaborative editor you get. Uh, because we want you to be, we want this to be a starting point so that you can customize and focus on the actual uh, unique collaborative editor you want to create. But here, it's a pretty simple, uh, you know, uh, sort of whiteboard, not taking app uh, with stickies that you can drag around and you can undo and redo. That's basically the kind of stuff you can do in this, in this product. Um, but what's really cool about this is that now if I copy this URL, and open that into an incognito window. Notice what's going on here. I'm not allowed to see. So that's basically what the starter kit gives you. It gives you all the routing, all the stuff you need, all the permission stuff, all the stuff that you need in any collaborative product that's document-based. That's what we do. That's what we provide you here. So here I'm going to sign in. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller on this side. There you go. Gonna hide this. Uh, okay, so now I am going to uh, sign in as Emil, 
And cool, Emil is here. So I'm just gonna grab Emil, Emil's email and invite Emil on the left. So you'll notice here, um, when I go here, the document just appeared uh, because I just got invited. But I'm in read-only here, so I'm not able to do any edits. So on this side, I'm going to change this and uh, change the setting to can edit. And boom, it just refreshes on the right. So we use uh, SWR from Vercel to do that stuff. Uh, and now it's all live and all, all real time. So if I make changes here, hello, Emil. And then Emil can be on this side, kind of responding. Hi, Charlie. That's pretty cool. And it's all real time, um, all collaborative, all multiplayer. And I can undo my own changes, and they're all local to each client, which is pretty nice. So now let's back to the workspace. When I go back to the workspace, uh, I see the documents that I have access to. Uh, there's also a concept of uh, groups and sort of folders here uh, that's, that pretty much every collaborative product uh, has, right? Uh, where you can classify, organize your, sorry, cl organize your documents into different categories. So by default, your documents are private drafts, just so that just yourself can see them. But then you can put them into different um, different categories. So here, uh, ML on the right only has access to product and design. So if I go to design, for example, uh, and then uh, create a new document over here, I'm gonna name it design document press return, you will see that on the left, it just automatically updated uh, to show that there's a new document has been added by ML. ML is also showing right here. Uh, so if I quit, if I, if I uh, close this window, I disappear automatically from this, uh, from this view. So that's basically what the, the style kit does. There's also a concept of like filtering documents. So if you just want to show, in our case, we just have whiteboards right now, but if I just want to show whiteboards, it allows me to filter that. So it gives you all, all of that stuff uh, so that you can, uh, so you can start building. Uh, and so if I want to give you, kind of show you a quick glance at the, the code for this. Oops, what did I do? Let me just open an example. So here is uh, how it's structured. So if I zoom in so you can see, I've got uh, all my components, badge, cursors, and stuff. It's all built with like standard uh, TypeScript and CSS. Uh, so that you can easily customize it. If you want to use Tailwind, you can install that. Uh, we got all the writing set up with like pages uh, and with clear APIs uh, that you can use to like grab documents, uh, set permissions. All that stuff um, is in here. Um, and then if I go back to if I go back to uh, to the page here and open the documentation, uh, so we have like a bunch of functions that you can use. Create document, delete document, get live live users, remove user access. There's a bunch of stuff that you can take, customize it, um, and that's a great start for for you to to build your next um, collaborative application SaaS product. Um, so yeah, we hope you'll like it. Uh, if you have any feedback, please let us know. We're always looking to uh, to make that stuff better. Uh, and yeah, can't wait to see what you guys create with this. Thanks.